Hey guys, how are you doing? Today I'm here with my friends at Sun Estrella Galicia in order to bring you a video that's going to be slightly different to what we're used to because it's not only going to be about music but it's also going to be about beer. How would, would you translate that into drum? It would be complicated, man. And I want more of that, yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. Trust me. I hate you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Metal. And I yeah. Love, and I love metal. <laughs> I've been invited to be a part of the What Does Your Beer Sound Like project, and there is no way I'm saying no to this because I really like these guys. So I'm here with the brewmaster, Victor. And I'm just waiting to see what all of this is about. Yeah, as you said, we call that what does your beer sound like because we really believe that the connection between beer and music is really deep. We know that music is a creative process, you know, it, you know there's a bunch of people communicating emotions and, and feelings and stories. What many people don't know is that beer process is the same. So musicians are using instruments and sounds and brewmasters are using raw materials. The fun fact is that all these uh, raw materials have a similar role in the process that they have for music. For example, if you take guitars, they bring colors and aromas and stuff. That's the same thing that does the malt. If you think about hops in beer process, they bring balance. That's the same thing that happened with uh, the, bass, the bass guitar, they bring balance between melody and, and rhythm. Same thing with the voice, they bring this kind of uniqueness and, and magic. That's uh, the same thing that brings yeast into the process. And of course, uh, water, which is the, the, really the heartbeat and the soul of the beer, really similar to what the drums are yeah. doing in the music process. So that's why we wanted to find out what does your beer sound like? What does the water sound like? So that's why we wanted to bring you in yeah. and having you, you know, translating that to, to the drum, to the drum world. So good, so curious. Uh, let's start with uh, the, the water by itself. Uh, okay. Let's have a sip of the one on the right side, which is the soft one, and let's see what it inspires you. Okay. If I had to translate regular water, I, I agree with you with the fact that this is very important on the recipe. Well, it's basically in the whole recipe, right? Exactly. It would be complicated, man. I think I would choose the symbols. I think with both of the waters, I think I would choose symbols. And of course, I need to use a specific criteria in order to pick the right one. Th this is going to be softer, you know, I'm going to create a little bit of ambience with this. going too hard definitely and then we will use something with a little bit more of character maybe for the other one yeah this one's a little bit more harsh okay that's the one we call heavier okay which is which is fun because yeah. it, it, it also brings you to the, the music world yeah we'll go with symbols and then we'll, we'll build it up you know trust me I trust beer you. with me okay <laughs> <laughs> So let's start with, with the Hellas Sport beer, which is Estrella Galicia. I think I would go with something soft, pop, you know. You have already tried this one. It's, it's really well known. It's really appreciated beer. It is made in, in Coruña. We are using uh, the water from uh, Cecebre Lake. Uh, it has a really nice min mineralization, which is perfect to do lager beers. Uh, first thing when we try a beer, you know, uh, it's Checking the color, you know. Okay. You know, it's golden, it's clear, it's really beautiful color for a beer. The, the next thing we do is it's having a smell, you know, smell the flavors, and you can feel that as there's there's the, the smell of malts, and you have mm. the smell of the hop, and now we can have at least uh, at finally have a taste yeah. at it. <laughs> and what you have here is a really well balanced beer, hell is a sport beer, and you can feel that the water has a small mineralization so it lets it let the, the, the rest of the raw materials, you know, interact. You can feel the balance of the hops, you can feel some bitterness, you can feel the malts with, with a little bit of sugary, you know, taste, hmm. and it makes it like, for me, the perfect beer, of course. Yeah. How would you translate this beer? For this, I would go with something, something that would fit 
any song, you know. I think I would go with something soft, something that sounds like pop, you know. I would try to play something basic with this. And I want more of that, yeah. <laughs> sounds good. Mm. Okay, let's go with the second one, which is an IPA. It's going to be a little bit louder, some feels, just add the right amount of spice. This is a beer that has an amazing story. It's called Indian Pale Ale, and it, it goes back when, you know, uh, Indian, British Indian colonies okay. and the British, they wanted to have their beers in India, but in the process of traveling, the beer got bad because, yeah. The, because, yeah, because it took too, too much time. Okay. So what they did is to put a lot of hop into the beer because okay. it make preserve the beer, you know, until they arrive. So it's really hoppy. These kind of beers, they are born in Burton, which is a place in, in England. And the water there, it has such a strong miner mineralization. It, it kind of reminds me of the water you tried, the strong one, the, the yeah. heavier one. Okay. So of course the beer is going to be really, really different. So if you watch it through the light, you will see that it's not as clear as the other one. As yeah, you can yeah, see, yeah. It's, yeah. it's more dense. Yeah. And if you smell it, you are going to find some grapefruit. <laughs> yeah, so different. This is really, really, really nice smell. But when you try it, when you, when you taste it, let's, tr let's, let's have a taste. It's really bitter because it has so much hop because of the story I told you just. So I'm sure that it will inspire you something that is completely different to the first one that it's Estrella Yeah, definitely. It has more, I would say, personality, which doesn't mean that I like it more. But actually, I do like this quite a lot. It is good. So I'm thinking about different kind of rhythms. Yeah, then we're going to use that philosophy, exactly that philosophy. Yeah, we're going to do something a little bit more complicated with a little bit more personality. Something that could work on some environments very good. Yeah, I'm going to be a little bit louder in this cool. case, I think. Some feels, you know, things that just add the right amount of spice. Let's hear it. Definitely, let's cool. do this. Okay, third one. Uh, this is a special one, an Irish stout from O'Hara's. I would go full throttle with the whole drum kit. Everything out of the drum kit, you know. Stout style is born also in England. This one is from a British porter. It also comes from a place where the water is re has a strong mineralization. So we are back uh, as an IPA, you know, to the dense water and really heavier water. Let's have a look because, you know, as you can see now it's black, yeah, but it's yeah, also it's dense. Yeah. Let's have a, a smell, you can see. I'm curious about what does it sound, you know, in terms of drums, because you have, you have this really heavier yeah water you know as a base we've been using the symbols slowly in the beginning this I, I i don't know about the last one but i think this is one of the hardest that we're going to try it has a very strong flavor i would go full throttle with the whole drum kit i would try to use the tones from of the toms you know yeah, i would try yeah. to go back to that primitive style bring something that packs a punch that has a lot of lows just trying to get everything out of the drum kit, you know, trying to use all of the toms on that beat. I think that would give a similar taste of what I'm tasting right now. And cool. especially after listening to all you said. I love the word primitive. Yeah, Sounds good. primitive, yeah. that's the thing, tribal, yeah. Sounds Let's good. Go. Okay, last one. Uh, this is my personal favorite. I'm not trying to condition you. <laughs> uh, this is 1906. We're going to make a little twist with the original group that I was playing. I need to, to go back a little bit. This is a Hell's Bock. This is the same kind of water that we are using in Estéralite Especial. It comes okay. from the same place, but you will see that it's, it's a completely different beer. If we have a look through the glass, as we usually do for the first analyze uh, you will see that it's we, we are back 
to the clear color. Okay. Yeah, same. But it's a little bit darker. It's not as, I don't want to say yellow, but it's more orangey, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, right. That's why, that's because they have, we have more cereal, more mud right. involved. So if you, if you smell it, it's stronger than 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 Esteralitia. and it has also more uh, degrees in terms of alcohol. Okay. So let's let's have a sip. <clears throat> this is an amazing beer, but you can see it, it is stronger. The water is really interfering differently with the rest of the ingredients. I feel bad, but I'm going to go back to something no more basic, but a little bit softer. You know, with. We've been working with that. That was a strong man. Yeah, of course, <laughs> so of course. I need to, to go back a little no, bit. You, you anticipated that. That's that, that yeah. the strongest one yeah, that we yeah, are yeah. going to have today. We're going to make a little twist with the original groove that I was playing. Now we're going to go back to the same combination. We're going to use the bass drum, snare and hats. But we're going to add a little bit more spice to it, a little bit more of complexity. I'm going to use, I think, a more complex pattern on the hi-hat in order to play this. Just in order to bring a little, bit of, a little bit of complexity but still sharing some common traits, you know, with the original one. Because as you said, it's totally different but still there is something, you know, in yeah. between that is a strong link between those two. So yeah, I think I'm, I'm going to try something like that, yeah. <laughs> Seeing that you can easily do comparisons between bands and beers, if I show you one project that I've been working on, you think you would be able to tell me, that sounds exactly like this. I don't know if I would be able, but I would love that. You, yeah? Oh yeah. You can try? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Can we try? Oh yeah. <laughs> because that's something that we do usually, you know, comparing, you know, yeah. we can be more wrong or it would be more correct, but it really, it really makes sense when you do that. It's a game that I love to do. Okay. Ready? Yep. Wow. Is that enough? Okay, that's 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 really it, it comes to my heart because it's yeah. metal and I yeah. love <laughs> and I love metal and the double bass. Okay, I would go with with uh, 1906 black coupage i know you don't like dark beers or at least okay. the, the one that, that we tried but we uh, do we have 1906 black coupage that would be great oh excellent okay i know it's not your <laughs> yeah i'm going to hate it your territory <laughs> but have a look at this one because this okay. one normally dark beers are ale beers um, okay. but this one is a lager so it you will feel something that is completely different to the o'hara's one okay. so as usual, dark. you can see it's dark, but it's clear. Yeah. And if you if you smell it, it's more chocolate, more sugary. And if you taste it, that's one of my favorites too. Yeah, yeah. I hate you so much. <laughs> <laughs> but you know why? That's because I, no, but I follow the explanation. Like I get, I get why you would say that. I agree with you. This is a strong, but what what I just showed you is a strong. Next time I'll show you some pop. Cool, no, that, cool, yeah. cool. Whenever. It's not bad though. No, no, that's an excellent one. Excellent one. Then, you know, I wasn't into dark beers, you know, myself, and I'm and I fell in love with this one. That was an amazing. I had an amazing time. So I hope you had too. Yeah, it was sure. interesting experience. I hope we can repeat it someday. And really, thank you very much. Salud. Salud. Are we out? Yeah. Okay. Ciao. Can I hear the whole song? Of course. Cool. Give it to me. Let's go. <laughs>